I grew up in the city, but uh, my and my uncle farmed the family farm where my mother grew up, and so I uh, I spent my summers helping out my uncle and on his farm, which is a dairy farm in southern Wisconsin, and and uh, he had mostly all John Deere equipment, and uh, that's where I uh, uh, had my appetite, I guess, for the for the green machinery and. So that when I uh, finished finished school, my number one goal was to try to get a job with John Deere, and I was able to be successful doing that. I worked for John Deere for 37 years, and uh, in a number of different uh, positions, uh, everywhere from uh, engineering to uh, marketing, uh, and. Uh, Primary, most of that my time was uh, was spent in uh, product and customer support. The vast majority of my time so moved around a lot and had a lot of different jobs, and uh, really enjoyed uh, being out out in the country working with the dealers and customers and the machinery. So I uh, enjoy having an opportunity to to do that something similar, at least operating machinery and helping customers out uh, even in retirement. I chose Farm Rescue uh, primarily because a friend of mine, uh, a work colleague over the years, uh, had, has, has been involved in it for the last four years, uh, Mark Baumgarten, and uh, uh, he's a good, good friend and good work colleague and uh, and uh, although while I, while he retired ahead of me a few years, uh, uh, one of my goals was when I retired to uh, to connect up with Farm Rescue and and uh, and work with Mark uh, and he was our team leader last spring. So that was my my opening into uh, Farm Rescue organization. I, I think it's a fantastic way for any of the sponsors to show their appreciation and support for for their customers, especially customers that are having a really real tough time. Uh, under under uh, real stress because of uh, medical situations and and it really shows uh, the community spirit a fantastic example of community spirit and, 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 and uh, in support of their uh, not just their direct customers but but all all customers out in the community and uh, uh, it's not it doesn't surprise me that RDO is doing that they are really a great organization that really steps up and and uh, supports their customers extremely well. They continue to do that well for John Deere and they obviously show that their commitment to their customers in, in many different ways. Well, being this is my first year, I spent uh, a week uh, last spring up in the Rugby Butte areas, uh, North Central North Dakota, and we had three cases we worked out there. We were air seeding and uh, one of the situations was a, a son, uh, a high school age son that was in a severe car accident and wasn't able to help, so that would uh, help his father out with uh, the spring work. The other two were, uh, were uh, the spouses were, were down with, with cancer and uh, they needed uh, to spend their time focusing on the, the, the care of their spouses and, and uh, we, were, we felt really good being able to uh, come in there and give them a hand with their seating and, and so this is my fourth case uh, first time I've had a chance to get out in the harvest and um, and uh, so the this is the one and only case in, in harvest so far but look forward to uh, being able to do this in the future farm families have been fantastic uh, I know last spring I gained weight uh, they did such a great job of feeding us uh, taking care of us uh, that, that I had to go 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 home and get some exercise work those extra pounds off the, they, they really looked at, looked looked out for us took great care care of us and and uh, that was really special but uh, uh, didn't surprise me at all because I know that's that's the way farm families do they just they step up and and uh, take great care of uh, anybody that's uh, working with them